San Diego Comic Con just kicked off, and so far we've already got some great reveals for DC fans, including the trailer for the upcoming Teen Titans show, Titans. And guess what? Robin drops an F-bomb, saying, fuck Batman. Yep, this ain't your typical CW show from the looks of it, despite it being produced by Greg Berlanti, the man behind The Flash, Supergirl, and Arrow. Instead, it's a gritty reimagining of the team, donning a much more mature tone than what we've seen in previous animated adaptations of the Teen Titans superhero team. So, what happens in the trailer? Well, it starts off with Raven hunting down Dick Grayson, with a shot opening in a circus ring with the sign The Flying Graysons above it. Dick seems to be working an office job when Raven finally encounters him. There's a slight glimpse of Dick's origins concerning his parents featured in black and white, followed by a shot of him angrily reminiscing about his days as Robin. We then see a scene of Robin taking on some goons in an alleyway, with one of them exclaiming, where's Batman? After gruesomely taking them out, Grayson whispers, Fuck Batman. We also get a further glimpse of Raven's abilities, a shot of Beast Boy jumping in the air, and Starfire shooting off her Starbolt blasts. There's also a slight glimpse of Hawk and Dove. Grayson's voiceover implies that he's got quite a traumatic past and that he isn't the biggest fan of what his crime-fighting ways have done to him. Overall, it's really pushing that darker tone. Titans has had its fair share of controversy during its production, particularly with the costumes for some of its iconic characters. Some fans were upset over the fact that despite Dick Grayson being the Robin that will appear in Titans, his costume design is much more similar to that of the third Robins in the comics, Tim Drake. Another reveal at Comic-Con showcased Robin's costume in the flesh. Up until now, we've only seen it in press photos, which contained a lot of shadow. In addition to this, there was a whole lot of controversy over Starfire's hair. The actress playing Starfire, Andy Ope, previously dealt with some backlash, with some less of fans who criticized that the character wasn't white, as she's depicted in the comics. But the hair scandal, as it's known, was a tad more disappointing than racially motivated this time. A set photo was leaked featuring the actress wearing a wig that didn't look all too hot, causing some people to lash out on social media, calling it Cheeto hair. But it was later confirmed that the wig was not actually Starfire's hair, but rather it just pertained specifically to the scene that they were shooting that day. But based on the trailer, it doesn't look like that was the case after all. Titans will be launching alongside the new DC Universe subscription-based streaming service, which the company hopes will be able to offer audiences much more than just being a comic book-inspired Netflix alternative. Other shows set to be released on the platform include Harley Quinn, an adult animated show starring the title character, a live-action Doom Patrol, and another animated series, Young Justice Outsiders. In addition to that, the service will also feature thousands of curated comics to read, fan forums, a canon encyclopedia, exclusive access to DC merch and rewards, and of course, other classic DC film and television adaptations. So, what do you guys think? Are you guys going to subscribe to DC Universe so you can watch Titans? Or do you think that the service won't be able to compete with Netflix? And what are your thoughts concerning the Titans trailer? Is it trying too hard to be edgy? Let us know all of your feels in those comments below. Also, for all things San Diego Comic Con 2018, be sure to subscribe to Top 10 Nerd. We'll be posting videos with updates, highlights, and much more. In the meantime, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all in the next video.